from red wolves in eastern North Carolina to elephants in Cameroon and plants in Uganda, the North Carolina Zoo has extended its effort to save endangered species well beyond the zoo gates. After more than a decade involved in these projects, it's evident that efforts to save endangered species can't succeed without the support of native people. On a recent trip to Cameroon, we learned how totemism, or the belief that human spirits can inhabit animals, plays an important role in projects to save elephants and gorillas in that West African nation. There are a number of ethnic groups in this region that have strong traditional beliefs in different animals. You will find certain ethnic groups in the Takamanda area over on this side, where they have a, a strong belief in elephants, for example. Other groups that believe in snakes. But here around Kigweni uh, Gorilla Sanctuary, we have one or two villages that have a very strong traditional belief in the gorillas. So people actually believe that their spirits are so closely tied to the gorillas that if you kill a gorilla, you're killing one of your neighbors. Uh, and that's really helped with conserving gorillas in places like this. People want to transform into a gorilla because they want to have the strength and the long life of the gorilla. For example, in a village near here, a gorilla was killed. A lady died in the next village. Before she died, she confessed that she was shot by a hunter. Even though it is a small number of people who can transform into a gorilla, the entire village will not hunt a gorilla, will not eat gorilla meat, and will have respect for them. The belief that human spirits can inhabit animals is an ancient and common one among the African peoples. And in this case, it's helping to save two of the planet's most endangered species. If you'd like to learn more about the zoo's conservation programs, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.